basically we're gonna do a guessing game. It's like a really probable game, okay? okay? Basically, we're not gonna look, but this will be the sample. If you think this card is black, you put it here. If like, let's say, you know, I'll put another one. If you think this card is like red or black, like you won't look at it, you can put it here or here. So if I think it's black, I put it there. If I think it's red, I put it there. Yeah. I kind of, um, I went to a school called Hogwarts. I don't know if you ever heard of it. <laughs> so it would be so insane if somehow all the red cards actually match together with the red cards. And all the black cards are together with the black cards. Wait, how? This is the setup. It's a very easy trick. All the reds are in one side. All the blacks are in one side. So we got all the reds here and all the blacks here. Just remember that. That's that's really it. No special order of how to do it. All the reds one side, all the blacks the other side. Now how it works, how I usually do it. I just look through the cards and tell them we're gonna put a red here and a black here. And by doing that, I just hold a I just push this card a tiny bit up, or I just give them half the deck, and then with that half, they just dump all the reds here, 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 here. It doesn't matter. Some people think of it a lot, they like get really into it. Some people just like don't even care, they're just be like this. But I guess it really depends how your presentation and structure, what this trick is. But anyway, what I do, since I know they're all reds, I'll look at one and say, oh wow, you got one right. Now we'll take a black one. And then again, they do it. I don't know what they're thinking while they're doing this. They're probably saying this is impossible, this and that. And there we go. Now there's only one issue. This black card right here is with the reds. That's an issue. It should be with the other black cards. So what, what I do is literally, and you could even see it in like my performance, like while I'm scooping it, I just put this on top. And I, and I don't like pay attention to it too much. Because you pay attention, it looks weird. But if you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna go scoop and they're just like this and going that and you're talking to them nonchalantly, it like flies by. I've never been called out on it. I don't know, I never have. When I, once I get called out on it, That'll, that'll be the day, you know? Um, okay, awesome. So, what really, what happens here is that all the reds are on one side, the blacks and reds. Now, if you, if you spread it like this with this one, you would want to spread it like that. All right, all right, all right. Actually, yeah, you would, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you would spread it like that. And then you would be like, then you would go from this order with all the reds here and all the blacks here. And you have possibly one of the most amazing tricks out there. Okay, now, okay, now let's get into like the setup, right? I got another deck here. This is a new deck order. Like I'm gonna teach you how to do this trick just opening up a brand new deck of cards and performing a miracle. There is a couple ways to do this. Normal, in the hands, or full shuffle. Let's see how this works. Basically, just take around half. You would know half because the king of clubs is half. And you would just give it a nice shuffle. And you see that all the reds are on one side and all the blacks are on one side. I don't know why I've never seen anyone teach it, the trick like that before to anyone, but it's pretty amazing little secret, is that when you just give it that in the hand shuffle, you're literally in the position to do one of the most amazing tricks. And then you can also give it another shuffle. What I do is, you could do this in the hand and I'll like show it to you right now. Just basically you take a bunch, like this much of a clunk, the cards, and then you just keep going singly. You get a few singles until you feel like you went over half. And yep, and then you could go just like that. 
and it really looks like you're just totally shuffling the cards. I mean, this is one of the most deceiving things I've ever seen. And yeah, you're always back in this order, right? and you're always ready to do this trick with a brand new shuffle deck of cards. So if you're really just new to magic and you really want to impress someone, you can just open up a brand new deck of cards and you're in the setup of this amazing trick. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, it's a pretty amazing trick, to be honest with you. I think you'll love it. Thanks again guys, see ya.